play in slow mo. A must score blocked. Wow. And now Snariger comes up hopping and limping. She's hurt with a problem. She's walking off the court. And the way that Mia Moore went down, she was looking to drop blows, and so was Denim to Shields. Meanwhile, we're talking about Snaringer, and she now heads to the locker room. A lot to unpack here, Kurt. Yes, there's a lot. In fact, I'm going to sit back, kick up my heels, and let you unpack for me. <laughs> here now we have the replay. So you can see she oh, wanted a timeout. That's when Smith throws her down, and that is why she came up. Now, I don't think, I don't know what she wanted to get out of that, because it was going to be nothing good, but she wanted a timeout. And Smith, I mean, Smith didn't see her call a timeout. She was behind her, so she's just trying to get the ball. What the officials are checking right now, and that is Meadow Overstreet, is to see if there's a flagrant. Boy, there has been so much in this game that just... It's like Chinese checkers. It the is. rivalry is back, CB. Uh, we are what, what, uh, so back. Battle for the bones. <laughs> battle for the bones. I just hope no one breaks the bones. Because this is a very never, physical game. And you've never been to Memphis. All right, let me give you my favorite up there. The, the name's Rendezvous. Oh, here we go. But you want Courtney yeah, Bruce. That's, that's, that's... Oh, interesting. So we did get an explanation. It's Bruce Morris. And Lyndon, I'll let you explain. Yeah, so it, they, they saw what we saw. Me and Moore called the timeout. Now they're looking at that activity that happened after that with Smith and Moore, but Moore for sure gets teed up for her response. Her taunting is her taunting. what uh, Bruce Morris said. Madison, do we have that one more time? That was a great job on replay and slow-mo explaining. And I didn't make it eye game speed. I didn't see the timeout. Here we go. Watch this. Okay, there's a clean timeout. And it's Smith from behind. Here's your timeout. Smith throws more. That was a great job by Jade Weathersby. So they're watching that contact now. And there's already going to be a technical on UAB for taunting treat yourself before. Now, now something's going on with the coach. Alex Simmons on fire right now. They're wondering if uh, if anybody had come off the bench. That's what we have been told. There's Alex Simmons. And meanwhile, Karen Martin has to be held back. <laughs> She's Randy Norton's top assistants. Uh, what? The, guys. WWE is not in town tonight. Not yet. A wild, entertaining finish. Is Alex Simmons, and I, I'm telling you, I saw a Taryn Martin. And this is interesting or because the coaches are getting fired up after, you know, the teams are back calmed down, and it just keeps brewing. One thing that you have to do as a coach whether your player was right or wrong, you've got to back that player up. Yep. And that's what Alex Simmons is doing, to gain the respect of her locker room. And she doesn't have to do this. She already has respect with two national championship rings and a successful career at Gardner-Webb. But everyone in a blue and black uniform knows that coach has got their back. And that's so, so important. It's going to take a long time to unravel this what we do know let me, let me go back to what i do know there's going to be a technical on uab for taunting there's it that's what started it all with timeout we're going to get a look at the memphis bench there you go two girls three girls coaches off the bench alex sims yeah simmons rather is off the bench that's a that's a great call by the refs good stuff by our 
crew again. Didn't notice that. Yep. And Alex Simmons came off oh, the bench with two of her players, yeah. and that's also that's either banishment or a technical. And I'm thinking that Taryn Martin was saying, did you see their coach come off the bench? And then Simmons was probably saying, well, you mind your own business. Uh-huh. And, and Simmons kept pointing over this way. I, I don't know what at, because it's behind us, but she kept looking at the ref and pointing cross court, not where the action was, opposite side, when she was letting him know how she feels. And now we have the coaching staffs facing center court where the refs are still reviewing. I'm getting them all the time. Just get them. So what we're getting word is that two players from each team came off the bench. We, we might be shooting free throws until your morning show tomorrow. Guys, I mean, are you on tomorrow? I'm on tomorrow. We started at uh, 6 Central. And uh, we're approaching the, the two hour mark. 